Good morning. Time for barefoot class. I have a helper with me today, and we will be using light weights for this, very light, as in I will be using threes, and Addison, my helper, will be using one pound weights. You do not need to have weights, but if you have something pretty light, I would go with five pounds or less for this class, and you just need a mat and bare feet. And we're gonna get started. All right. So we're gonna start with the warm up, no weights to get started. And we always start with squats. Okay, so just, just squats here. Ooh, that very first squat, you feel that soreness from your whole week, which is why I love barefoot class on a Thursday, because by Thursday, I'm always nice and sore. <laughs> So it's a, good, it's a good change from the running and the weightlifting. All right, a couple more squats here. And then what's my next favorite thing to do? Walkouts. So step to the back of your mat, and you're gonna reach down, get a nice stretch, and then walk it forward to your plank. Just hold your plank for a second, walk it back and just touch your toes here. So you're getting a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Walk it out to your plank. And walk it back. I'm gonna show these sideways. Stay there on your mat. You can keep going, Addison. Walking out to your plank. And walking back to touch your toes, just so you can see what it looks like. Nice straight legs. Keep it here. 
Warm up those inner thighs. Chest is nice and open. We're sliding straight down and straight up. You're nice and tall. Like somebody's got a string attached to your head. And they're pulling it up into the ceiling. Good. One more. Okay, we're going to hold it down in our plie. Okay, and now we're just going to do a lateral raise. We're going to do 10 here. If you have no weights, you're just going to be lifting your arms. These are nice and light anyway. Just holding that plie so your inner thigh should feel nice and warm now. Yeah. Good job. All right, bring it up. Okay, you're going to bring those feet in just a little bit. We're going to do a squat. It's a little bit of a plie, but not as wide. And then we're going to do a curtsy. So we're going to cross behind. Curtsy. And back to our squat. So we're staying just with this one leg with a curtsy and a plie. Okay, so we're going to do about 10. Good. Staying on this side. Good job. So our weights can just kind of be at our hips right here. If you have weights. If you don't have weights, you can even take your arms out to the side just for a little extra shoulders. Okay, that's good. Now, go back to that plie. We're going to plie, same leg that we just curtsied with. We're going to drag it in. What's this called, the dance? Like position one or two? I don't know which one. That's position. Okay, out, drag it in. So you want to kind of drag that foot so you're getting that inner thigh. Not a big drag, but a little drag in. Good. One more. Good. Okay. We're going to curtsy again. Same leg. We're going to do a second set on the same leg. Cross it behind. Plie. Cross it behind. Plie. Cross it behind. Good job. So we're going to really burn this out here. This one's on fire right here. Okay, one more. Okay, going back to a plie, drag it in. Plie, same leg, drag it in. Plie, drag it in. So we're targeting that inner thigh here on my right leg. I know you might be mirroring me, and that's okay. Just as long as you remember which leg you did. Get that squat right down the center. Drag it in. Last one. Great job. You know what we got to do next? We got to go back to plies and lateral raises before we go to our other side. So take it nice and wide again. All right. Weights down in the center. Plie. Lateral raise. Plie. Okay. Keep your chest open. Shoulders back. We're going to really get those inner thighs today. That's going to feel good. Nine, and one more. Good, now we're gonna hold it. Down in your plie, let it burn. 10 lateral raises. Two, three, good. You got it, Addison. Five, six, seven. Are your legs burning? Eight, nine, your arms. 10, good job, woo! Straighten out those legs. Okay, so we're going to do a plie and a curtsy lunge now to the other side. Okay, here we go. So, plie, curtsy. Plie, curtsy. Good job. Just take those weights at your hips. If you have weights, if not, just take your hands to your hips. When we're crossing behind, we're getting that glute here. And we're getting those inner thighs with the plie. Nice. You got it. Give me one more here. All right, and we're going to plie to a drag. Okay, drag it in to first position or whatever. Come on, ballerinas. Tell me what it is. Okay, maybe 
make sure you're squatting right down the center. Drag it in, heel to heel. Inner thighs are burning. Good. If you don't feel it, I hope they feel it at home. One more. Great job. Okay, we're going back to our curtsy. Take it wide, ready? Curtsy it, and plie. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, plie, you got it. This is our last set, and then we're gonna finish it out with those plies and lateral raises one last time. Woo! Okay, one more. Feel it now? Kind of. Okay, all right, we're getting ready. Now we're gonna do plie and drag it in. Last set, plie. Drag that foot in, heel to heel. Squatting right down the center when you do that plie. Center, drag it in. There you go. I think that's eight. I'm kind of counting. I That's because they're one pound weights. All right, good job. One last set, take it wide. Plie lateral raise, ready? Plie, lateral raise. Getting those shoulders here. Three, four. Get your legs more, my legs are burning. Five, six, this is good for your little dancers. Eight. Nine, ten, you gotta hold it down there now. Let it burn. Here we go, ten of these. One, two, three, four, you got it. Five, six, my legs are burning. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Set your weights down a second. Shake out your legs. Great job. And shake it out each leg at a time. You can do that. Okay, go ahead and grab a drink if you have one. I'm not sure if my music is even, if you can even hear it, but I'm gonna change this. So what we're gonna do next is a little balance. So we're gonna do a single leg deadlift with an upright row. Okay, so when I do, I'm gonna turn sideways to show this, okay? So I'm gonna hold my weight in one hand, and the foot that's going back is the same one that has, has the weight, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is a single leg deadlift. So this knee is gonna be soft. I'm gonna use my other arm up to the side for balance. I'm gonna reach down, and I'm gonna come up. If you need to touch, you're gonna to touch and do that upright row. If not, you can leave that foot off the ground. You're trying to balance, okay? So we're gonna do a single leg, all right? We're gonna do 10. You can face the front this time, okay? All right, so we're reaching down. Keep that knee soft here, and then come up. See if you can keep your balance and go upright row. Send it back. Woo, it's hard to balance. Use your arm for balance. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna burn all the way down into our ankle because we're using all those muscles to balance. You can let go of your weight, too. You don't have to have your weight. You need to hold on to the railing? That's okay. If you need to touch, you can touch like this too. And then you can reach and come up and touch. Okay, this is our last one here. Okay, good. All right. The leg that you were just balancing on, take it out to the side. Okay, we're gonna reach across, let this leg be straight. We're going to reach across to your foot here, to your toes. Bend that knee. I don't want you to bend over. I want you to get down and bend. And then we're going to come up to center and upright row again. Reach for those toes and up. There you go. Bend your knees so you get your butt down. Okay, get your butt down. There you go. And lift that elbow up high. There you go. Okay, let's get one more. 
Okay, guess what? We're going to do the same leg again. And then we're going to switch legs. Okay, we're going back to that balance. Use this arm for balance. Deadlift. Upright row. Reach. Upright row. Try and keep that balance if you can. Good job, Addison. You're doing it. Okay, if you need to touch at the top, that is fine to drop your foot back down. Catch yourself before you do a face plant. <laughs> Eight. Nine. We got one more. Woo, that leg is burning. Okay, take it out to the side. Going nice and wide here. Reaching down to those toes and then upright row. That other leg is straight, so you might be getting a nice stretch in that other leg. That is good, yeah. Bend your knees, yep. Or bend that one knee, I should say. You did this on your iPad? Oh, like a kid workout? Last one here. Awesome job. Okay, we're going to switch legs. Shake out that leg. Kick it out, kick it out. All right, switch hands, switch legs. So we're going to balance on this other one now. Your balance is always better on one side or the other. No judgment. I can't see you guys at least, right? <laughs> Upright row at the top. Find that balance. This knee is soft. Oh, it feels like a nice change, though, to switch legs. Did you switch hands, too, Addison? Did you switch your hand and your leg? Yeah. Okay, good. You got it. It helps to focus here. Your core is where all your balance comes from, so hold everything nice and tight. <laughs> One more. Okay, and now we're going nice and wide. Okay, we're going to reach across, bend that knee, and then upright row. Keep that other leg straight. Make sure you're bending your knee and getting your butt down low. Woo, I heard a pop. Uh-oh. Good job. See how low you can get your butt down. Still keeping those feet planted. Your heels stay planted on the floor. Okay, two more here. And on ten. Great job. Okay, you got one more set. All right, same leg. Find that balance. Use that arm. Okay, reaching down for that deadlift. Come up. And upright row. Helps to find a focal point, something to look at that's not moving. So if you're watching me, it's, it's difficult when I'm moving. Find something to focus on. <laughs> you're going backwards. <laughs> Touchdown if you need to. Touch the floor, touch the floor. <laughs> okay, I think this is our last one here. Okay, we're gonna go nice and wide again. All right, ready? Reach across to your toes. And a break row. See, my weights are pretty light, but I'm not really feeling too much in my shoulders. But if you have fives, you might be feeling this in your shoulders too since we're doing a lot of repetition here. And that's what we do with our barefoot classes. We use light weights and we go lots of repetitions. So we can get those tinier muscle groups and just burn them out with a lot. You wish you had fives, you wouldn't be able to do it. One more. Nice job and rest. Woo, good job. Shake out your legs. Okay, we're going to some upper body. That'll feel good, right? Okay, we're gonna turn our mat sideways a little bit. Okay, grab a drink if you want. All right, so, we're gonna go down to the floor because we're gonna be doing some plank rows. Now, if you don't have weights and you're doing plank rows, you're just gonna be holding in your plank 
and you're gonna bring your hand up to your chest and back down, okay? We have little weights here, so we're gonna do a row with it. The goal when you do plank rows is to keep your body nice and steady. We don't wanna be twisting our whole body. So you can kind of bring that one hand to the center of your plank, okay, right underneath your shoulders, and we're gonna pull to your chest and back down, yeah? Take your feet kind of wide, so it helps with your balance. Hello. Okay. You might have to take your socks off. That's why I said be barefoot. Okay? And try and drop your butt down. Yeah, you can take them off. Well, your mat's not. Okay, we're going to do one more here. All right, now drop to your knees. Okay, so we're going to do a reverse fly here. Okay, again, if you don't have weight, you're just going to take that wide hand. But we're trying to get our shoulder, into our shoulder blade and our back, okay? So when you open, you wanna feel like you're squeezing your shoulder blade, like there's a pencil laying down the center of your, your shoulder blade, and we're gonna open it up and then bring it back to your mat, okay? If you have light weights, you're going here. Okay, so we're opening it up. There you go, bend your elbow just a little bit, and you wanna keep your abs nice and tight. Your knees can be a little wide for balance, because again, we wanna try not to be rocking back and forth. Okay, so just using your shoulder, but I always feel my obliques here, which is a great feeling. My body, my abs are stabilizing this position. I don't know why I feel my abs are too. You get your elbow too? Yeah. Because it's, it's holding all your body. Okay, that's about 10. Great job. Now we're going to go to tricep kickback. Okay, again, no weight. You're just going to press back. And you could do a, a bunch of these if you have no weight. But if you do have a weight, we're gonna turn our palm up at the, at the back, okay? So instead of being here, we're gonna turn our palm up and bring it in, okay? Press it back. All right, yeah, that other arm might be burning just a little bit from holding our body weight here. And your abs, are your abs feeling it? My abs are feeling it here. Okay, we're doing about 15 of these since we have this light weight. Remember to breathe. Always remember to breathe. Okay, rest. Great job. We are going to switch sides here. Okay, to give this arm a rest, but it's not going to be resting because it's going to be holding your body weight, remember? All right, so we're going to switch arms. Yes. We're going to go to our plank again. Okay, so hold your plank, hand in the center. And, oh, row. We're going to row first, okay? So pull to your chest. That elbow pulls back, okay? Weight right to your chest or your hand to your chest. My music stopped. Is it out of battery? It's probably just the Wi-Fi, okay? It's okay. It'll come back on in a second. One more. Woo! Drop to your knees. Remember to keep those abs nice and strong here. Okay, so one hand in the center. All right, and we're gonna do a reverse fly. Okay, so we're gonna open, squeezing that shoulder blade. Okay, try to keep this out of your shoulders and your neck. So pull, instead of being here, pull those down and away, okay? You can talk to your knees, Addison. On your knees. Keep your abs nice and tight. Bend your elbow a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do our tricep kickback. So hold it there. All right, glue that arm down at your side, and we're going to press back. And when we press back, remember, we're going to twist our hand. Okay, turn it. There you go. Hold your abs tight. Just like this, go straight back. Straight back. Work in those triceps. You feel it? We're doing about 15 of these. It's good for your body. That is right. That's a, that's the whole purpose of this. Okay, rest. All right, we're just going to shake out your arms because we got to do another set. Ooh. I think we're going to skip another set for a minute because we're going to run out of time. All right. In a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to skip our second set of that, you guys. We're going to flip to our back. All right, because 
want to do some flies and some, we of course want to get some core, right? We spend a lot of time on our legs. Okay, so let's roll it over. We're going to take our weights up here, and our legs are like they're resting on a chair in front of us, okay? Sorry, I'm blocking you. Okay, so we're going to open up our arms into a fly, and they're going to come back in front of us. So your elbows stay slightly bent. Okay, but we're going to add legs to this. We're going to extend our legs out, and we're going to bring them in. Okay? Extend your legs out and bring them in. Now, if your back is coming off the floor when you do this, then you're just going to keep your knees bent and make it, make it a little bit smaller. But we're doing a little bit of a reverse crunch with the fly. Good. So keep your back pressed in and pull your belly button in. When you do that fly and reverse crunch, and you can extend those legs all the way out if that feels good for you. It's a little bit more advanced. Okay, one more. Great. Okay, set down one weight. Bring your feet down to the floor. We're going to go opposite to opposite. We're going to take this one arm over our head, and we're going to take our opposite leg, and we're going to do a crunch and reach up for that foot. And then we're going to bring it back. You need a light weight for this, or you can totally drop that weight and use nothing, and just extend that arm overhead. And then reach for your toe. Okay? So we're staying on this one side. Okay, let's do two more here. 10 to 15 on each side. If we had more time, I would definitely say 15. Okay, take your other arm out, reach that arm overhead, extend your other leg, or we'll reach it for our opposite foot. Opposite. Uh, yep, there you go. Opposite. With a crunch. Opposite arm. Yep, opposite arm to opposite leg. There you go. And you can drop that weight out of some if you want. If you're feeling this behind your, in your neck, you can just take your one arm back behind your head to support your neck. Extend that leg all the way out. One more. Awesome job, set those down. Okay, we're gonna flip it over to a plank. Yes. <laughs> Tired already? All right, we're going to a plank here. Now, like we did in the beginning, remember we took our knee across, okay? This time we're gonna take our knee straight in and we're gonna take it straight back behind us. Pull it into our chest and straight back behind us and we're gonna do 10 of those and then we'll switch sides, okay? Okay, so first start in your plank. Take one knee, you're gonna bring it in and then extend it back behind you. It just goes straight back, it doesn't have to lift high. And back, we're gonna do 10, three, four, Thank <laughs> you. 